Welcome to the Performance Enhancing Podcast. It's like steroids for your brain. A podcast for people looking to live life at their peak potential. Chock full of real world tools and knowledge that you can apply in your life today. By providing you with a lens into the lives, beliefs, practices, and actions of those who are already living extraordinary lives, the Performance Enhancing Podcast will help you shift your mindset or create that change in your daily rituals and habits so you can explode with success in the areas of life that are most important to you. So get ready for another dose of Performance Enhancing Podcast with Satori Prime. Here's your host, Elon Ferdman. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another pep talk with your host, Elon Ferdman. So I had an unbelievable week, to say the least. Uh, For those that have been following us for a while, I uh, went and did a ceremony, an ayahuasca ceremony this past uh, Wednesday. To say lessons learned and, and things found would be the understatement of the century, but I'd like to share a few of the insights that I had with uh, during the ceremony with you guys because some of them were really, really profound, specifically one that I think could give you guys an amazing understanding of how you function, why you're upset half, half of your life, more than half of your life, and give you a really good understanding of how to treat it and how to catch it so that you have more peace and love and joy and happiness and not aggravation all the time. So I'm going to actually keep this podcast fairly short. I think fairly short for Elon, that is. So we'll see how long it takes. But I want to give you the context of how this this experience happened. And what I want to talk today about is annoyance. As human beings, we get annoyed a lot. Now there's little minutia annoyances, and there are big, very long lasting annoyances, things that have been perpetually there for years. Okay. So I'm going to talk about it from the micro to the macro and kind of anywhere in between and hopefully give you an insight as to how you live your life and now and how you can choose to live your life that would actually give you happiness and fulfillment and all that stuff. So jumping right in. So at the ceremony, this is how I actually came to this knowing. When you're at the ceremony, you tend to move a lot just to try to get comfortable. You know, you're lying down, but we do this all the time, right? Like think about yourself in bed and you're about to fall asleep and you're trying to get comfortable and whether you, you know, you sleep on your arm or on your stomach and you're just constantly moving, right? Because the blanket is tucked under your back and it's annoying you. So you move the blanket and the pillow isn't fluffed the right way. So you move it and you fluff it or you turn to the other side or whatever. And really, if you think about it, what's happening at the basic level, what you're saying is something is X. I want it to be Z. Something is here. I want it moved here. This person is this, I want them to be this. This situation is that, I want them to be this way. And when you think about it, all of these things, every annoyance in your entire life, every aggravation stems from the same exact conversation. So I'm going to just umbrella call them annoyances. And like I said, some are little and some are bigger, right? But ultimately, Just think about this. Everything that you've been upset about today, (laughs) you know, you don't have to go very far. Probably in the last hour, something has pissed you off. Everything is pure and simple because you want it to be some other way. Would you agree? It's the, the pen is here. I want it to be here. The piece of paper, you know, this person sitting next to me is talking too loud. This person is snoring. This person should have responded to my email. I asked this person to do something. They didn't. I said I was going to eat healthy. I just had a cheesecake. I, whatever it might be. And then you're just annoyed by it because it should have been some other way. So you've heard me speak about this should, shouldn't probably before. And if you haven't, this is a really great reminder or a first time lesson. Now, here's where it got super interesting. So I noticed that everything in our lives is this little 
annoyances, little and big. But what happened was I started to look at my life's timeline. And instead of looking at the what's right in front of my face, I actually was able to kind of elevate above it and start seeing the timeline from a higher and higher view. So I've been alive now for 34 years. Okay. Now, a blanket impacting my sleep or that's on my side or a pillow out of form takes all of two seconds, three seconds of annoyance. I fix it and I'm relieved. And we go through this cycle of like, I'm annoyed, I'm relieved. I'm annoyed, I'm relieved. Everything becomes about relieving the annoyance. And we spend, this is the whole point, we spend so much time and energy trying to solve these annoyances. Instead of using this energy to focus on creating your life, to focus on providing value and love and being fulfilled and connected, we spend this energy on being annoyed and solving these nonsense annoyances. So there's really simple ones that last very, very short, right? But here's the cool part. If you go high enough above your timeline, and some of you are you know, older than 34, some of you younger than 34, it really doesn't matter. Think of the most annoyed thing that's ever happened to you or is currently happening to you right now. Something you're really, really frustrated about and you're trying to fix it. You're trying to make it some other way, okay? Could be a job situation, could be a finance situation, could be a relationship situation, could be your health situation. It doesn't matter. Something that's kind of lasted long, right? Now, look back in history of your life, things that really pissed you off. Think of the longest thing that's happened. Like, how long were you annoyed before relief set in? A week, a month, a year, two years, five years, doesn't even matter. But when you go above your timeline in a high enough fashion and you look at it, if your timeline was just a black line, okay, and then the annoyances were these little red patches so you could like see them, okay? In the grand scheme of things, now obviously now it'd be like, like red, 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 black, red, 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 you know, whatever. But in the grand scheme of things, if you just looked at one red speck, in the grand scheme of all this black, how long is that red speck? Even if it was something that lasted four months, four months in the grand scheme of 34 years of my life is minuscule. Minuscule. And you know they say that the cliche, time heals all wounds. You may have felt horrible pain when you may have lost somebody that you loved or you had a breakup in a relationship or you lost a business or whatever it is. Didn't you at some point overcome that? Like you started living life again. You regained your relief, let's call it. And yet for that time, while it was happening, you were really upset because it shouldn't have been that way. That thorn in your back really needed to be pulled out, like something needed to change. And eventually it was. So when you're looking at things from that high level view and you start to see how much time in, the, in, the, in reality of it, like in the grand scheme of things, how much time we actually spend on being annoyed It's laughable. It's laughable. Now, the irony is we're annoyed more than we're not for most human beings. Everything annoys us. And look, I'm going to give you examples. This this is just human. I'm not saying like I'm perfect in any way. When I noticed this, I was like, if my son, I asked him to go brush his teeth and he doesn't, guess what? Annoyance. If uh, I call my wife three times and she doesn't pick up her phone because she never picks up her phone, annoyance. If I'm waiting for someone to call me at a scheduled call and they don't call. I get annoyed. I want it to be some other way. You guys get it? Like we are constantly annoyed. I was just playing tennis and this girl and her dad and her brother were there and this girl had no normal speaking voice. What I mean by that, every single thing that she said was like, and after this whole experience of 
being in like the most loving, high conscious place, I've even caught myself, I'm on the other court and I caught myself going like, oh my God, out loud. And in my head, I was like, shut that fucking girl up. Like crazy, right? Annoyance. I don't want to listen to whining. I want it to be some other way. Annoyance. So what I, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because once you are aware that this is your machine operating in this way, we look for annoyance because why? The brain likes to solve problems. And if you don't have a problem big enough, worth your life fighting for, like for Guy and I, impacting, figuring out how to impact 100 million people so that they live lives that are passionate and loving and connected and have self-expression. That's what we want. We want to unleash people, okay? I want people to have it all in their lives. And you're going to hear that phrase a lot from us because I think we're going to rebrand it. So, but have it all. What does it look like to have it all? Annoyance is not part of that equation. Annoyance sucks out your energy. It's an energy suck. It's something that the brain likes as a stupid game that we've created. And instead of focusing on the things that matter to you, on how to create more connection in your life, how to have more love, how to have more money, how to have better health, we focus on the stupid annoyances. So today, and for the rest of the week, because I think this podcast is probably coming out on Monday, I want you to become aware. Just see how many times you can catch yourself feeling, we're called the distinction, annoyance. Feeling annoyed. Big and small. Because here's the magic in this, as soon, as soon as you bring awareness and you say, wow, my, my machine just got annoyed. Not me, not me, my machine, the, the automatic knee-jerk reaction process got annoyed, not you. That's very, very important to understand. As soon as you get that, you've now lessened the effect that this has on you because you now get a choice. You get a choice to choose to stay annoyed and keep sucking your energy or let that shit go because in the grand scheme of things, it's going to go that way anyway. So stop arguing for something to be instead of point A, point B. Stop arguing for something instead of sitting on this table on this table or instead of touching you here to touch you there. Give it all up. Who cares? It's all going to go away anyway. And go and focus on something that will give you fulfillment. Go and focus on something that will give you more money and love and connection. Start training, retraining, reprogramming your brain to work for you, not against you. You've trained the brain. We've all trained the brain, unfortunately, to be annoyed and solve the annoyances. And you know what? It's easy to solve those annoyances, right? It's like, oh, the pillow's out of whack. Okay, fluff the pillow, done. You're unconscious, unconscious. Now, I'm not saying don't unfluff the pillow. I don't want you guys to misunderstand me. I'm just saying be consciously aware of how many times this occurs to you. A person doesn't hold the door. You go on the subway and the ticket thing doesn't, the ticket reader doesn't work. Um, a friend says they're going to show up and they don't. Someone says they're going to help you and they don't. All of it. And you just, and for what? Eventually you're going to let it go anyway, right? So why not just do it now? Why not just use this moment, moment by moment, and give it up? And bring yourself back to that present moment and just be. Be with the situation. Go do something else. Take another action. Who cares? Let it go. If you want to have it all in your life, you're going to have to develop some new skills, some new tools in order to use this supercomputer of yours to actually create the life that you want, design the life that you want. 
So I wanted to really share this annoyance distinction with you because I shared it with a few other people and they're like, oh my God, because it's going to drive you a little bit nuts. I'm not going to lie. It's going to drive you a little bit nuts because you're going to start to see how often this occurs. I mean, you'll ask a waiter or a waitress to bring you something and it will take 30 seconds longer than you want it to take and you'll do it. You'll ask uh, someone to pick you up at a certain time and they'll be three minutes late and you're off, the, off your rocker. I do that oft, often. Um, so just check in with yourself and see. And also, if you start seeing patterns of where you actually get annoyed, those are really good areas to look at. Really good areas to look at. So if you guys want more tools like this and want to understand how to combat this machine of yours, so that you can live a life of having it all. Whatever that looks like to you, I truly mean having it all. I know that your having it all is a very different definition than my having it all. And guess what? I want to support your all. I want to be the, the conduit to get you your all, whatever that all is. And so if you're interested in having it all, I mean, a life of all, a 10 in relationships, a 10 in business, a 10 in finances, a 10 in love, a 10 with your kids, a 10 with your wife or husband, a 10 in your hobbies and spirituality and everything. That's what Satori Prime is about. And if you want to find out more, head over to satoriprime.com backslash mindset, backslash mindset, satoriprime.com backslash mindset and come join our mind method community. It will transform your life. I actually just got an email. So there's a, a gentleman by the name of Troy. You probably heard me mention his name a few times. His brother just emailed me thanking me for the work that we've done with Troy. That's the kind of impact that's happened. So if you want to cause that kind of shift in your life, satoriprime.com backslash mindset. All right? Love you all. Go and figure out where you get annoyed. And see if you can bring awareness to your annoyances. Get that supercomputer working for you. Your life will never be the same. I love you all. Can't wait to see you guys soon in our communities, anywhere. Comment, share, let us know what you think. Love you. Did you run through dust?